This painting is called "Girl on Pier" by Edvard Munch, made in 1904. This painting shows a lot of horizontal lines with a lot of depth into the medium he used, which was oil on canvas. Starting off with the background is the colors Munch chose to depict the mountains. The darkness of the mountains can seem to be dark, and almost a morose type of feeling. The obvious strokes in the sky seemed almost amateur on his part, but now I realized, after taking a look at the painting, that he was trying to capture the tension and raw emotion of what he was trying to get across. The artist has shown three girls on a pier, two looking at the moon, and one looking at the audience. The two girls seem to be very happy with the way things are going. Just based on their demeanor and style of standing on the pier, the girl facing us is another story. The artist has drawn her with no face, depicting her as if she has no personal emotion or feelings of her own. Even by looking at her faceless, I can see that she is sad. As individuals, we want to strive for the best and accomplish our goals. And follow our dreams. It seems to me as if this young girl is being held back from that privilege. When you live in a certain community, you are limited to the things you can do and the places you can live. This girl is being held back because she can't seem to get away from it. The lines and the depth of the oil on the canvas is a representation of the intensity that the girl with no face brings, with lack of her actually having no face. Her demeanor is completely different than the others, and it seems as if she's looking on the open pier, almost getting ready to run away, as if the world needs to be ready for what she has to bring, and all the dreams she wants to accomplish are not that far away. When I look at her and see the way her head is tilted down, it brings sadness to me, because there was a time when I felt like I was being held back, and the only thing that I could do was look somewhere else, where I knew it was going to happen. In my opinion, it seems as if they live in an Amish-type community, where people are almost forced to live there with no choice. The type that you are born to. And marry into, and it's like the cycle of the way they live. In that time period, many people were living on farms, and providing for their families that way. It was the type of community where if you wanted to do something else, you couldn't, because this was the life you chosen for you, and if you did stray away, you were going to fail no matter what. The description the museum had was completely different than mine. Munch had a different idea when he was painting this than I had when I was looking at it, at the Kimball Art Museum. With the lines and depths of colors, it seems very anxious and fear as well. I didn't realize that the other two girls had the same fears as the girl with no face. The more I kept looking at this painting, the more I grew to realize things about the girl with no face and in her security she has in her life. This painting can be found at the Kimball Art Museum on the second floor as soon as you enter the room on the right. I have learned a lot just by looking at the girl with no face, just thinking about my own dreams and life choices and what is going to hold me back, and what is going to advance me as well. Everyone should be entitled to the choices they make in their own life. After all, it's your life, and you should live it the way you want to live it. With rewards and consequences included.